Hello Nuggets, it is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I do hope you're doing well. We are going to get into some general energies for today. I just did a TT Talks and I forgot to put the title on there, but I promise you I'm going to get it. Anyway, um, we're going to get into some general energies. Aquarius, happy birthday to you all. You have the opportunity to get a $10 30-minute reading for everyone else. Those readings are $25 and our messages are $55.55. So come on and book your, your message with TT, okay? Um, yeah, so the TT talk was a little intense, so trying to I'm gonna shake that off and we're going to get into this uh, general energy. So, the channel songs are still the same, but different energy. So, first channel song is Anita Baker, Caught Up in the Rapture of Love. And the other channel song is um, Kurt Franklin featuring uh, Miss Shirley Caesar, Caught Up. And from those... Um, I am getting that somebody is like in this um, engulfed whirlwind of love for either what they do for someone or for themselves. Take it as it applies for you. General energies. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's like this... Um, uh, like not wanting to let go of a connection or just now coming into an understanding of who someone is to you or uh, what this new opportunity means to you and um, or vice versa this could be someone towards you so take it as it applies again but it's this whole new I'm getting, um, is it Regina Bell and Peebo Bryson, A Whole New World? Um, just uh, being in a new connection with somebody and just like not even realizing like, wow, this is what love is. Now I'm hearing, oh goodness, is it Foreigner? I don't think it's Foreigner, but um, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Um and it's just this this whole just new embodiment of what it means to truly be caught up in um something new something um unexplored but it's the it's a connection that you've um you're familiar with that you felt this connection before but maybe it's with a new person or you are with someone that you've already been with that you've been with but the connection between the two of you is now renewed and it's something that um is you're exploring each other for um in a new way or coming at each other from a new perspective and it's refreshing and it's all encompassing and it's just like oh my gosh this is it or this could be you getting the job position or the um the i'm hearing the book signing or the publication or the contract that you wanted and this opens up a whole new world for you and you are just um, euphoric about this new opportunity, this new place, this new space, this new idea, this new person, okay? TT Music Oracle Message. Oh my gosh. It's overwhelming, but it's like... Uh, what you've manifested, what you prayed for, what you asked for. And when it comes in, it's just like, I actually got it. I 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, Before I Let Go by Frankie Beverly and Maze. Uh, Someone Like You and Won't Back Down by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Under the deck we have Work by uh, my sister Pisces, Miss Rihanna. So for some of you, this is a work situation. You put in the hard work, you put in the time, you put in the effort, blood, sweat, and tears. You sowed the seeds. And now it's it's the harvest is coming back in it's coming back around i'm here second time around by shalimar um it's coming in and, and it's finally uh starting to bear fruit and it's it's you pairing up with what you've sown what you wanted what you put your for some of you, I'm getting this, um, getting that you had to let something go. You let something or someone or the thought or idea of how something was supposed to be. You let that go. And now that you've let that go and sown that as a seed to actually get what it is that you want, you now have something or someone that is on your frequency and it's a better match for you than what it is that you let go i'm getting that image of the meme where uh the little girl is holding on tight to the teddy bear that's one that i get quite often but the little girl is holding on tight to the teddy bear and um jesus is Jesus is asking her for just give me this teddy bear but what she doesn't see is him holding an even bigger one behind his back and he's just asking her to just surrender this one and I'll give you something even better and what you have actually done was you trusted God you trusted divine you trusted Jesus you released and let go of what you thought that you could not get any better that it couldn't get any better you released it and surrendered it to God and said okay I, I can't hold on to this anymore it's what I wanted it's what I thought I wanted but now I am ready to release it. And you released it and gave it to God. And God is blessing you with something even better. Oh my gosh. And now that you have it, you won't, you won't let anything or anybody stand in your way of holding on to the new thing. You are pressing forward and getting past all of the little nitpicky petty things that are trying to come at you. It is Mercury retrograde, so all of that little itty bitty, you know, small minded nitpicky stuff that, you know, comes at you at, during this time when you need to um, just, you know, be mindful and just do the small things, do the little things to you know be in communication to uh say and do the specific thing or the right thing paying attention just do what needs to be done but do not allow it to hold on don't allow yourself to get stuck on damn i should have did it this way the lesson is learned as long as you learn the lesson you can move forward that's what a lot of these retrogrades are about is making sure that you catch on and that you learn the lesson that you are diligent in taking care of what needs to be taken care of and you doing so that brings in your new level it allows you to graduate okay all right gonna pull one we're gonna pull one more card 
because I'm, I'm really getting that something, whatever it is that you've been working on, that you've been putting in your, your time, your energy, your effort into, is bearing fruit for you now. Just be mindful not to, you know, allow the small stuff to deter you from your past because you got what you want. You're where you're supposed to be. The thing is, is, is there's going to be the little bitty things that just need to be tweaked in order for you to uh, be able to hold on and to maintain. Okay? All right. Because, you know, the, the it's the little small nitpicky stuff that tries to come in and steal your joy. You're all in this, you know, euphoric you know got what you want in your groove in just in your lane kind of thing and then it's those little bitty nitpicky again small minded take it as it applies little things that try to come in and try to steal your joy you don't have time for that We have your dreams need a practical plan, full moon, and Taurus. We had this yesterday. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon, and Taurus. You could be dealing with the Taurus at this time. Um, the seeds you sown could have happened in the last Taurus uh, season. Or uh, what you're working towards, you know that during... Uh, April and May are going to come into fruition for you. So just be mindful. Take the time to plan it out. If you need to plan some stuff out, take the time to, um, again, get in this. Write the vision and make it plain. Pen to paper. That was the pen to paper works for me. If you do stuff, you know with your you know your ipad and all that stuff by all means do what you do y'all grown but writing it down making sure that it's visible something that you can see if you need to make a list do that okay under the deck we have your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn now, i don't know about y'all but we just had that did we i can't remember was it? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We have full moon in Cancer. Yes, new moon. New moon in Capricorn. Whatever seeds you sowed a couple months ago, at the end of 2021, I think that's right. My mind is so food bar right now, y'all. I, I can't even. There's so much going on with these energies. I'm smiling and happy too because I got what I wanted. So y'all go head on. But yes, you put the work in. This is earth energy all day long. Taurus and Capricorn. The, the beginning of earth season, the closeout of earth season. Okay? You put in the work. And if you're not, if you haven't put in the work, you should be, okay? It's grounded. This is grounded, tangible energy. These are things that you can touch, touch, taste, see, smell. With all your senses, all your stuff should be lit up, okay? Um, these are things that you can see, things that you can feel, Um uh, the nouns, the tangibles, okay? Especially when it comes to your finances. Sowing seeds and then reaping harvest. Sowing seeds in Capricorn season. Reaping harvest in Taurus season. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm going to leave it there because, oh my goodness, this energy is just kind of wearing me out. And I'm excited and I don't want to cry. I am getting emotionally overwhelmed, so I'm going to let it be there. Um, Aquarius, you have the opportunity to get $10 30-minute readings. So, by all means, come talk to you, TT. All right, and 
know that I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.